Hey guys, I'm out here today doing a little testing with this uh, prototype from Pursuit Platforms. It's a 3D printed version. The production version is going to be injection molded reinforced fiberglass. The, uh, the platform is 15 degrees on one side. If you flip it over, it's 30 degrees on the other. You can attach it to the tree with a bunch of different methods. Uh, you can use a over the center buckle and a strap. You can use a ratchet strap. Um, I'm going to try it with like a um, two inch uh, seat belt a strap. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but I'm gonna give that a try. And the makers designed it so that you can wear this on your back. It's gonna have a pad to cover these uh, uh, standoffs or, or, or tines that go into the tree and you'll be able to hook your sticks they it comes with a stick carrier you'll be able to hook your sticks right to this and carry it with the whatever attachment method you're using around your waist um, in in a one neat little package now today what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm just gonna uh, attach it to the tree with the three different straps that I brought I have a ratchet strap a over the center buckle strap and I have that seat belt strap so those are the three things that I'm going to do today and put those on the tree I'll take pictures and show um, other methods of carrying it in and uh, with the stick carrier on it and stuff but right now my primary um, idea is just to get it on the tree and show the different methods and show you how uh, you know tight it gets to the tree and how stable it is on the tree Okay guys, I'm zoomed in on the platform. I'm gonna get up in the tree and I'm just gonna show you. This is with the ratchet strap. We're gonna see how strong and I'm gonna see how tight it holds to the tree. So I'll just put my lineman's belt on. Into the tree. Okay, I'm set up on my tether right now. Jumping up and down, you can see the, the there is a little bit of flex, but nothing out of line, nothing too excessive. And the platform from here is very comfortable now normally I hunt with squirrel steps and what I'm going to do this season is put a squirrel step on each side of the stand so that I can put my feet off to the side here if I want I can put a foot like that but as you can see this this platform is pretty pretty rock solid on that tree there's some tiny bit of flex but that's not much at all and I'm right around 240, so 235. So that's that's what uh, I'm getting out of that. Uh, quick and easy. Basically, thread the ratchet strap through the uh, platform, and then attach it to the other side and and uh, tighten it down. So now we're gonna go to the over the center buckle. Okay guys, I put on the over the center buckle with the squirrel steps. I didn't engage the squirrel steps on the side though. They were already on the strap so I left them on there. They're just sitting alongside the platform here. Not really making contact with the tree. So it's just a platform just the way it was with the ratchet. So I'm gonna step up now and we'll see how well this holds.
Okay, <clears throat> I'm in, sitting in saddle, and as you can see, this holds pretty good as well, um, almost as good as the ratchet strap. Now you can get the ratchet strap tighter, but for, for my purposes, for the quietness and the ease of um, putting it on the tree, and also the fact that it's much uh, easier to pack up. You don't have that big bulky ratchet on there, you just have the over the center buckle. But it's definitely uh, pretty darn solid. I mean, I can step way out here and jump on it and get it to move a little bit. But other than that, it's really uh, not a bad system to attach it. And like I said, I'm 235, 240. So if it holds me this well, guys that are lighter, they should definitely be able to use this system with no issues. So I'm gonna come down and this time I'm gonna put the seatbelt webbing on there. I don't think that's gonna do the job, but I figure I'd give it a try just to give you guys food for thought. Okay. Okay, I put the webbing on that came with a uh, an old tree stand it's that seatbelt style wedding uh, um, webbing and so I put that on there and I'm gonna see how that holds I don't think it's gonna hold as good as the other two but I mean if somebody uh, you know wanted to use that they could but um, the advantage to that would be is, is if you were carrying this in as on your belt and the two inch webbing might be more comfortable so I'm gonna jump up here and, and just stand on it and see what we get. Them in. <clears throat> Let me stand on the edge. <clears throat> As you can see, there's a tiny bit of wiggle, um, just a little bit more than either the ratchet strap or the over the center buckle. Uh, you can see it right there. But I mean, it's it's holding pretty well. Uh, so you could use this in a pinch, but you will get a slight amount of wiggle out of the platform. So it's up to you as far as you know what you'd like to do. So far, my optimum thing has to be used to be used the uh, over the center buckle with a squirrel step on each side, maybe one in the back, and that gives me the you know the best options. I have a platform to stand on when I want. I can put a foot on each side of the tree with squirrel step, and I can still walk around to the back of the tree if I need to. So hopefully this helps. You guys can decide what you know what option you'd like to go with whether it's the over the center buckle or the ratchet strap or the seat belt style webbing like this, which is two inches. And again, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions, but uh, so far I really enjoy this platform. It works great. It's lightweight, packs in easy, and it's really easy to put on the tree. Brady, I'm all set up. The platform is working great. No issues at all. As you can see, I got the uh, squirrel steps off to the side there. And it's working great. No issues. It's super comfortable. It's easy to put on.
tree is shaking, but the stand's not moving. So, this is what the platform looks like, packed up with two squirrel steps. Pretty small, pretty compact. Uh, I'm going to have to weigh it. I don't have the weight right now. Uh, here are the stick holders that can go on this if you want it to. They just slide into the, um, the side and they allow the sticks to be held with the platform. So that allows you to be able to carry the sticks on the platform itself while you're walking in. I'm probably not going to use this because my sticks are Eastern Woods Outdoor Sticks. They have really uh, tall standoffs and they don't fit on here. Um, I can get three of them on no problem, but the fourth one I have to kind of um, twist the sticks and turn them and try to figure out a way to get them on there. And so what I'm planning on doing is just carrying my sticks in on their own. Uh, for you guys out there that might have smaller sticks like Shakars or, or you know, any of those uh, uh, smaller sticks, these stick holders would probably work really well. But what I'm planning on doing is just taking the platform and this doesn't have any um, any uh, stuff on it right now like uh, the vet wrapper um, the stuff that um, Dano sells to quiet everything down but I will put it on there and what I was going to do is just put the carabiner right through the middle of the platform like that and then I have a gear hook on the back of my Shrike here and I was just going to put it right back there on the gear hook and walk in with the platform just like that. Climb the tree. When I want to take the platform more off, just reach back, pull it around like that. I could also hang it off one of my Molly loops here if I wanted to, but uh, I kind of liked it in the back. It sits right between my two uh, pouches and uh, it doesn't seem to bounce around too much. But, you know, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, I I have used 3D printed stuff from Innovating the Outdoors and 3D Genesis printing, and I, and I loved it. Their, their stuff is, is light, it's tough, it's cost effective, it's not too expensive. And this platform right here for me, uh, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to using this more. Of course, our season ends on the 19th of February, so I won't be able to do um, uh, as much hunting with it as I wanted to but um, I'm definitely looking forward to using this this year with a like I said these two squirrel steps maybe maybe one more but I, I doubt it um, and just using this going in so I hope you know I hope this helps you guys if you have any questions or um, you you know you want to know anything about it uh, I'm gonna weigh it and give all the specs and stuff um, in this video so I hope this helps you thanks